Today I'm giving my friend Ali a retro makeover. So she usually wears her hair straight with a full fringe and very natural minimal makeup. I'm going to try and create a similar hairstyle to this and for the makeup I'm just going to go with whatever I think might suit Ali. Where, do you want me in more in the centre? No, I don't. It's just I don't want, really want to be playing around with it yet because it's going to get greasy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Close your eyes. Close my eyes? Yeah. Because I won't be able to concentrate if you're looking at me. <laughs> can I keep moving to not look at you? Fine. I don't think I could keep my eyes shut for like an <laughs> I'm doing your eyebrows first because um and not your face makeup because other because I need to lean on your face. Okay. I'm gonna start with Ali's eyebrows. I'm just gonna fill them in a little bit to make them a bit thicker and slightly darker. As it's kind of a fifties look that I'm going for. In the fifties they tended to have quite thick dark eyebrows. I'm just using an eyebrow pencil, but I'm trying to make sure that I don't get that horrible pencil line. I'm doing it very gently, so that I don't get that. Right, I need to sharpen this. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry, I'm not going overboard. <laughs> it might feel like I have, but I'm taking it <laughs> So that's pretty much the eyebrows done. Now I'm going to do some contouring, just a little bit. I mainly do it under the cheekbones, so they stand out a bit. Um, under the jawline, at the top of the forehead and around the face, like the sides of the face. It just gives the face a bit more shape. Right, okay, pull the kissy face. I call it a fish face. Kissy face. Kiss the people, kiss. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Are you cold? No. Oh, I thought you just did it. No. No, I just made it just draw <laughs> So now for the highlighter. I'm just applying this to the tops of the cheekbones. I can't see shimmer coming out of it. Now for the blusher. I like to add quite a lot of blusher. I like it to be seen. <laughs> Especially for this look. Some people might think it's too much, but I think it looks nice. Smile. That. Yeah. Right, close your eyes. You don't wear blue eyeshadow then, do you? Ever? No. I decided to try some blue eyeshadow on Ali because I think it will really suit her and it will go with the lipstick I've chosen. I don't... <laughs> <laughs> I don't do each eye separately. I do them... <laughs> I do them at the same time. Yeah, me too. Yeah. I think, is that not what I need to come off? Oh. <laughs> no, I don't, Ali. That's not normal. Most people do what? one eye, one whole eye first, and then they don't. They <laughs> do. Makeup artists, we can see it on YouTube videos. What, cat flick mascara with one eye. <laughs> oh, I see how they do all the, no, 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 they do the eyeshadow, don't they? And then move on to the next eyeshadow. I would say, no, I'd say they would do like one shade of eyeshadow on both eyes. I think you're wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Am I doing it gently enough? Yeah. I'm adding another layer of the same colour. I don't pack it onto the brush because that tends to create fallout underneath the eye. So it's best to layer it. My eyelids aren't as um, tight as these. Oh, that's sad. I know. Never mind. <laughs> Next I'm using a darker blue to go in the crease of her eyelid, if that makes sense. <laughs> 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 
It's, you don't have like much of an indent crease, do you? So it's hard to judge where that is. I'm doing exactly the same thing on the other eye. And again, I'm not packing the eyeshadow onto the brush heavily. I'm just putting a small amount of eyeshadow on the brush and then layering it up. In order to get rid of that kind of clear blue line on the eye, I'm blending the eyeshadow in. So I've got myself a clean brush and I'm just kind of making circular motions with it in order to blend it all in. Now for the scary bit. I'm going for that classic cat flick eyeliner. Well, I'm gonna try. <laughs> It's so difficult, even to do it on myself I find it difficult, so to do it on someone else, it's going to be a challenge. There we go. It's not going to smudge on my other eye. Mm. Does it dry really quick? It does, yeah. And, it, and it's normally alright if you've got eyeshadow. Oh, <coughs> uh, okay. It normally doesn't smudge. Okay, open your eye. Look, um, put your head up. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> 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 oh, fucking hell. The bloody thing smudged. So what I'm going to do is get a piece of cotton wool and makeup remover and try and get rid of it. I'm doing the same again on the other eye, obviously. Hopefully this one doesn't smudge. Can I tilt your head up and look down? Dentist. <laughs> yeah. I'm using a red lipstick. It's got a bit of an orange tinge to it because I thought that would look cool with the blue eyeshadow. <laughs> <laughs> Just the wonkiness at the bottom of you. Because I'm doing good. <laughs> now to attempt the cat flicks. This is where it could all go wrong. Your lips to pull me out. Smile too much. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Have I just printed it on the top? Of my um, you have, yeah. You're printing it everywhere. Oh. <laughs> I'm just gonna. Wait, it feels really wet. Yeah, I'm gonna build it into the look. <laughs> <laughs> when I say I'm gonna build it into the look, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to add some darker blue eyeshadow into the crease of her eyelid and just hope that, that covers up the black line. Like this. Do you want to do this yourself? Yeah. yeah. But you need a mirror? No. I bottled out when it came to curling Ali's eyelashes. <laughs> the next thing that I did was I applied Ali's mascara. Mascara is such an important part of the look, I feel like, because it all sort of comes together. Without mascara, the eyes and the eye makeup just don't look right. And finally, we move on to the hair. Oh, by the way, I, I asked Ali to put on a retro style top just to go with the look. Can you brush it? Have you not got a brush brush? Oh, yeah, I not The first thing I'm going to do with the fringe is actually spray it down with water and blow dry it. Because for this look, we need the fringe to be quite voluminous and almost rounded. <laughs> Wait, that's true. Just put it out. <laughs> Well, hair that comes out of my forehead and it's really long. 
Oh, do you? Yeah. Okay. I've got one that comes out of my cheek. <laughs> Is it white? Yeah, it's really yeah. fine. Yeah. I love it when it comes to you. Yeah. I start by curling her hair, just like in the picture. I didn't want to show you too much of the curling, only because it's quite. it takes quite a while. But I did section off the hair to make it easier to curl each piece. Can you shield your face? Yeah. <laughs> oh. I'm spritzing it with a bit of hairspray to hold the curls in place. And then we move on to clipping some of the hair up. When backcombing, I tend to use a brush because it creates more volume and then I move on to a comb because then that can kind of get into the root a bit more. It's really important to back comb the side sections of the hair when creating these side rolls because back combing just helps the hair stay up and makes that nice rounded shape that you're trying to create. So as you can see I'm kind of rolling the hair up sort of rolling it underneath itself and then pinning it to the head. And then I'm doing the same with the other side, back combing it with the brush, a little bit with the comb and then rolling it up. I'm actually rolling it round my finger this time and then pinning it to the head securely. I usually use a couple of clips for this. And this is the finished look. Oh man, your hair's gone funny. So we've got the loose curls at the back and then the side rolls I've pinned to the top of the head and they almost meet in the middle. <laughs> 